Okay, a little garage workout with Drew. Uh, the Resolite mat, I like that. It's really cool, and you guys got creative. You didn't have to go nuts, though. You didn't have to get too nuts, did you? No, we just needed enough space, you know, to get some <laughs> drills in and, you know, be able to spar a little bit from time to time and, you know, be able to fit a couple bodies in there. You know, you guys are so, you're, you're in this, like, uh, situation. We're in a very weird time, obviously. Um, I was just at some wrestling camps with the Burnett train guys. Um, they had three weeks, but very uncertain with wrestling camps. Are you guys going to be hosting wrestling camps here soon coming in the fall? You know, we're in August at the end of, of summer 2020. Do you think that's yeah. a position you'll be in, Coach Roberts? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, we've got a lot of things that are ready to go and, you know, cooking up. And we just have to <laughs> make sure we're allowed to, you know, permitted to, I guess is what you would say. So, you know, I don't know if it'll be, uh, you know, in September, um, October. We're really not sure yet, but, you know, basically we're, uh, how do you say it? Uh, you know, we're standing on go. We're ready to go. We're, you know, when we can go and have wrestling practice and have wrestling camps and get kids together, and that's what we're going to do. You know, like everything's just so up in the air, and this is just, like I said, it's not like any time we've ever had in our life you and my lifetime right we're in no, our 40s both yeah, right no, not not mine for sure i mean you know we we missed a couple days of school once when we had a blizzard and it was 20 below and the pipes broke and you know we missed a couple days after uh mount st helens erupted in 40 that years blows, ago that blows my mind 40 years ago you know we had ash over here and that was the last time i remember any masks um Except when I went to uh, went and wrestled overseas in Japan in like '95 or something, so I never crazy. seen so many people in masks and until 2020. Yeah, you know so. we're in such a strange time, and and you know we're worried about kids' mental health and getting them involved and getting them reacclimated with sport. How important do you think sport is, and and getting kids around? And your, your camp system is, it, you know, man, it was about to really blow up. You had a great camp last year with. Anthony Anthony Ashnall, right, interviewed right on the same porch. Yeah, and, yeah. And, you know, the mongoose, Dustin Schlater. Dustin, yeah. Right? And, and you just you keep bringing in great clinicians. Yeah, you got I mean, a great we staff. Had, yeah, we had about 200, almost 200 kids our first year um, with just a couple months of notice that we could have it there. And so, you know, um, we have been working pretty hard at it for a couple years. Um, as far as the kids go... And, 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 and that, and that stuff with, you know, um, how they're doing, um, emotionally, mentally, um, exercising. I mean, obviously I'm a huge proponent of it. Um, people probably get tired of hearing me say it, but, uh, you know, I sometimes make, you know, sometimes make my opinion known or, uh, you know, and I mean, I'm a huge, I, I, I think that, you know, I don't want to be insensitive to health risks and stuff, but I do think there's a trade off and you got to find what that balance is because I think if kids are not in activities, okay, for me, it's, it's wrestling, right? But I don't care what it is. Activities, social clubs, chess, debate, drama, band, wrestling, football, soccer, basketball, you have to have that social interaction, most of us, and getting those skills and you have to have an out and escape when everything else isn't going as well as you want to you have that place where you can go and for two hours maybe it's two hours man everything is great and you're learning those things you're learning work you're learning resiliency you're learning how to work with others you're learning how to pick yourself up from disappointment you're learning the value and the grit of hard work and, and discipline and sacrifice and the difference they can make in your performance and what kind of a team player you are and, and, a, and a team member or a leader. And I uh, fear that if we don't have enough of those kind of things for kids that it's going to have, uh, you know, a long-term detrimental impact. So, I, I mean, I want to, like, start working with the kids again now, yesterday, tomorrow. You know, the, the, the science is pointing to it's obviously kids are not largely affected 
you know, if we're talking science and medical opinions and everything we've seen, it's not kids that are affected. It's the older age demographic, 50 plus, right? 55 and older, right? Let's just say that. Yeah. 62 and up, whatever the yeah, age is, yeah. it's, it's 55 plus. Let's yeah. just say that. The argument is, you know, we're not saving... We're not, it's not about the kids' health. It's about them going home right, to their right. if they have older parents or grandparents and, and their relatives. That's the yeah. big argument, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do, you know, I'm not a genius <laughs> by any means. We just don't ha seem to have any answers, Kevin, to how to how to get here. Like, how do we get kids re-involved in things remotely? How do you feel like we can do it remotely? Do can we do it remotely? Well. I don't want to be insensitive to any of those things because I have family members and important people to me in all those age demographics. But I think, you know, kids, we got to find a way to strike that and to have them doing things. Um, you know, I, I just, I think sometimes you got to look at the counter and what the implications are long term of some kids not being in school and not being in sports and you know i mean we talk about it all the time how why those things are so important we talk about it all the time and why we do things to keep kids engaged and stuff and there you know there's some kids where that's the best part that's the most stable part of their day is the mentors and the leaders and that they have at school or or the lunches that they get they might not have it at home so, you know, I, I think you know where I feel about it. But at the same time, you know, I, I'm not a, uh, you know, you're not talking to some of those people you talk to, like mm. those scientists and some of those. Uh, I'm not people. talking to Doctor Fauci. I'm like. Yeah, and you're not talking to Degrassi. Yeah, and, Neil Degrassi. Yeah. yeah, I talked to some people. That's I know. Right. Man, I haven't even and, thought about that. You know. Wow. I, I mean, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, for my kids, I want them in activities. I certainly respect people that, that are a little bit more cautious and stuff. But, you know, I, I just, I'm about living. I'm not about existing. You know what I mean? I, you know, and I don't, I don't want that to sound bad, but I want normal life, man. I want to experience things. How does a camp look? You know, I, I had the Burnett camp I went to. Yeah. And yeah. they had really good numbers, and they did a really great job of with the defense wipes. Yeah. Guy Seiko was in on it. and Yeah. Um, you know, kids were wiping down in between goes. They had sanitation stations. They did their best with masks and social distancing. What's a Kevin Roberts, Man on Fire, Northwest Elite? What does a camp that you run look like post epidemic? Well, here's the thing. I think, you know, on the wrestling side... We have, and, you know, it's perspective. So for me, like, here's what you have. Here's what you have the ability to do compared to other sports. Now, there's no doubt wrestling, right? It's a contact sport, right? We're, we're working out. We're, we're forehead to forehead. We're, but we have the ability to go and in wrestling if we want in non-ideal situations and you might wrestle with that partner and no one else that day we're yeah, in other sports thing. man that's a thing no. you might you might be down in the key in basketball and have four or five or six or eight people all in there jumping for a ball yeah or a football play on the ground you have 22 people in a pile yeah so you know what all those mats have circles and what are those circles it's where you should be about, wrestling about six foot apart yep and every you know and so we can, if we have the uh, the the ability to, or the ability we have the ability to, I should say, if we have to, in in you know less than uh, perfect times, you know we have the ability to bring a lesser amount of people in per per size, per square foot, per capita. You got a, a wrestling room, a gym that's so big, you can go in there and really mitigate probably the risk and how many people you're really working with. You could probably go in and have, um, y you know, come, come in close contact with probably one person, which, you know, it's not perfect, but you know what? Everyday life. I mean, I, I don't know any more than you do, but yeah. right. I mean, apparently this is still spread. And so everybody's not wrestling. Everybody's not 
going to basketball, everybody. So, you know, are they sometimes getting it at the grocery store? Are they sometimes getting it in the restaurant? So if we can go in an area where we're worth only in 15 feet, 20 feet of one other person, then we can do that. Camps are on. Camps are on. Like, you know, I think wrestling, I mean, I, I heard some things about Western regionals or the Western states, I think they call it now. Super where they were, two. Where they Super were two. really good. They had the tournament. Yeah. They were really good. They managed the floor. Which, Simmons and Pack. Simmons and Pack yeah. had that Midwest Iron Man I rules. Mean, you know, you have the ability to manage the floor and stuff better that should have been done probably in in my eyes. Don't don't get me on that. That's a whole different day video of getting the 2,000 people off the floor, the 48 people in the corner of a match. I mean, I know sometimes it's cool for the ambience and the, and the atmosphere and all that, but, you know, a lot of the kids, here's a coaching point, parents, <laughs> a lot of the kids would be better off with mom and dad in the stands. Yeah, I agree. You know, I mean. Camps are on. Camps are on. That's what I needed to know. Um, somebody wants to get a hold of you. Someone wants you in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana. Ohio, Delaware, New Jersey, where it right, right? I mean, yeah. we're, we're 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 nationwide. Yeah. BC, you could be we could be in British Columbia in what? 3 hours? If the border was open. We could be Yeah, like, oh it's yeah. under that though. Like, oh, we're 100 a, miles. We we could be there an hour and a half. 100 miles. Yeah. So we're, I mean, you can go internationally pretty easily. Yeah, well, yeah, if the it, border's open. No, yeah. You get yeah. my point though. Yeah. Like one 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 life back to somewhere. Oh, yeah. Normal. And yeah, and we're going to get there, man. We're going to get there. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, robertswrestling.com um, at Roberts Wrestling on Instagram. That's kind of the thing, right? Yeah. Instagram, Roberts yeah. Wrestling. DM. DM. Twitter, okay. Kevin Roberts, 118. Uh, I think it's K Roberts. K Roberts. It's easy to find you. It's pretty easy to find you. Yeah, though. yeah. Um, they're all on my uh, website, though, robertswrestling.com. You get, you know, Facebook. Um, that's kind of for the moms and the dads. The kids are on Instagram and Twitter. That's where I've cut it off. There's no snap. I'm not a TikTok uh, man. I can't, nah, nah, can't nah, do it, man. I'm nah, 41. I can't do nah, it. No, nah. it's, it's maybe no. to be better, and that's what I need to do in the nah, future. But nah, just nah, not now. Nah, 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 I just can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right, coach. Thanks for the time. All right. Hey, thank you.